Hey guys, welcome to another lesson of Pro Teaches Noob. Today I have with me here once again, Bianca. Thank you. There's a fly in my room. I heard, I think I heard that a little on my. Are you um, serious? <laughs> That's how loud it is. <laughs> It probably flew right past the mic, but it's super huge, bro. <laughs> oh, those like those it. are always the loud ones. Oh, but yeah, right now, right now we are going to be doing more Hulk stuff again. This time we're going to be going back to Red Hulk, but we're going to first start with the beginning point of what will be when once Red Hulk actually started to get decent and all the pieces start to fall into place. And I'm hearing my echo, <laughs> or oh, I heard an echo. Are you wearing headphones? Should I should I mute myself while uh, you talk? Uh, that's weird. I and mean, we didn't hear an echo beforehand. Why am I hearing it now? I don't know. All I did uh, was mute and unmute. Did you have headphones on? Yeah, I always had headphones on. And weird. Hold on. Let me try turning my volume down a little bit. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, that's better. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, starting with um, issue 600, this story will never see print. I have my reasons. I'd have to for and I'd and I'd have to for a reporter to make this decision. What is it Jonah would say? A good reporter would rather die than kill a story. I'm certain. I, I guess I'm not a very good reporter then, because I did it once before. Kill a story. I had uncovered Daredevil's secret identity. Probably would have won a Pulitzer, but I couldn't do it. I couldn't destroy a man's life, so I would get a headline. This is different. This is even more dangerous. So I've made my decision, and now I have to live with it. Despite all that, I had to write it down. When you write something down, it becomes real. As we're seeing Ben Yurick here. The story, and as he, he summarized things like what happened, you know, World War Hulk. I love Ed McGinnis' artwork here. <laughs> and she Hulk's hands look funny. <laughs> hey, at least she's not wearing pants. That's true. But yeah, explain, you know, just summarizing what happened, him getting zapped and all that. Um, but then eventually, we see Ben was called over to meet with um, Aaron Ass. Like, did you change cabs? Yeah. And what? What? Yes, six times, just like you told me to. I almost got lost myself. Could have done and done this over the phone. Phones aren't safe. What's this all about? The Hulk, or more specifically, the Hulks. There's more than one Hulk. Unbelievable. Yes, there are two Hulks. One green, the other red. And who is the Red Hulk? That's what, what you'll have to fa find out. And this is more like a national story. I'm, I usually cover the New York. People say you can be trusted, that you'll keep your word. Aren't you She-Hulk? And go smash him or whatever you do. I tried. He's too strong. But if you could expose him, get the truth out there, people are watching me. Who? The government? I've been asking too many questions. If I do this, I need to know what you're so, and, and I need to know what you know. You're so paranoid. You've got me paranoid. After New York, Banner was airlifted in a S.H.I.E.L.D. helicarrier out of New York, but he never showed up at a S.H.I.E.L.D. facility. He was taken to a previously unknown top secret gamma base. Ross, who is not S.H.I.E.L.D., was given charge despite having a personal relationship with the prisoner. The Red Hulk murdered the abomination, stole files from S.H.I.E.L.D. and the Baxter building, wrecked the helicarrier, and all of that and has remained classified. Then how do you know about all this? Be at JFK tomorrow night. U.S. Air Flight 659 to Las Vegas. Someone will meet us. Someone we can trust. Who? Bring a photographer. You're going to need physical evidence. Wait a second. Why Las Vegas? Did you change cabs? Yes, I changed. Hello? There's an awful lot of S.H.I.E.L.D. agents down there and Army guys. How are we supposed to get past them? That'll be his job, Peter. Where is the, and where is this inside man of yours? All right, I'm here. Now, by this point, one more day has happened, so people are forgotten again. Just wanted to point that out. I'm here. Doc Sampson? Those aren't S.H.I.E.L.D. agents. Gamma Base is not U.S. military. They look like S.H.I.E.L.D. agents. They're upgraded light model decoids, LMDs, human skin, organs, all on an adamantium frame. Put I mean, put these on. They're in the middle of a shift change down there. Great. Out of date beekeeper outfits. They're not for bees. They never and they never were. What then? Radiation. We have to go before he comes back. Who he? 
So yeah, they're making their way through there until they look through, um, until they find, oh, come on. Oh, come on. I'm hearing tapping on your end. Hopefully and it's heard, not the fly. Oh, and, well, I just heard the fly again. No. Okay, so we see Modoc is in control. And they've gotten a hold of um, A-Bomb. Calm, calm that freak down. I don't want him to wake up Banner just yet. Like, so basically now they're finding out um, a gamma-powered super soldier program. If you knew all this, why didn't you tell us earlier? Modoc brainwashing and he wouldn't let me leonard what's wrong he's coming now remember when we found they said how uh, um leonard's jacket was all gamma saturated here's why he has his own hulk form the good doctor is out the bad doctor is in what is what is the meaning of this damn it leonard get a grip uh, he's never coming back there's only samson now what the hell is it with you gamma men and your split personalities you can't win yet. <laughs> I'm stronger than he ever dreamed about. Enough! This equipment, the equipment in this room is irreplaceable. You two, however, are not. Look what I found. I knew if we opened that wall, we'd find rats. Oh, some, sometimes, and oh, sometimes rats. But sometimes you gotta admit, you find spiders. I knew that cab driver took the wrong turn at Albuquerque. A comedian. No, not the comedian. You're thinking of the guy with the mustache. Did you see that movie too? Personally, I miss the squid. I hate comedians. Yep. <laughs> if you don't like comedy, can I interest you in a pair of shoes? These size tens come in a variety of colors. The red would go lovely with your skin tones. Learn and learned a long time ago from fighting with your big green variant. You can't hit what you can't. Uh, uh, what you can't hit. It. Wait, that didn't come out right. Wait. I remember it's you can't hit what you can't see. Stop it. You'll ruin everything I've been working for. Mr. Potato Head shoots. He misses. <laughs> ah, no fair. Hulk doesn't have heat vision. That webbing costs money. You're going to learn firsthand whatever and what everyone else knows. I am my own monster. <laughs> Hulk save Spider Man. Yay. Yay. Hey. You think Hulk, tra you keep Hulk trapped in dark like Banner does. Hulk hate Banner. Even after all this time, it's still something that tiny brain can move that body. You are and have always been Banner. Then who are you, Red Man? Who is the Red Hulk? This endless battle between us, it can't continue. I'm going to drain the life out of you, Banner. More exactly, I'm going to drain the Hulk out of you. No, you have no idea what you're doing. I know exactly what I'm doing. He doesn't deserve to be the Hulk any longer. Bruce Banner can never turn into the Hulk again. Oh, boy. So Spidey gets out of there. Um, now, thanks to what they were doing, uh, Rick is now in control of his A-bomb form completely. Nice. You two aren't going anywhere. We're going to ride this one together. He says to Samson and She-Hulk. Boom! Everything goes... Samson and She-Hulk have been taken. Peter and um, B and Ben get out of there, and A-Bomb and um, Bruce get out of there. And then we find out that Red Hulk makes a threat, saying that next time there's going to be a fight, what if the people you work at get, it gets brought down? So Ben feels he has no other choice but to kill the story. Aww. So ne next we have... A cute little story that Stanley wrote. A Hulk of many colors. Oh, darling, finally happened. What I've always hoped for. What do you mean? I felt the earth move. <laughs> but yeah, they're stomping around and everything. And then Red Hulk shows up. They st and they start fighting each other. And then, um, yeah, they're just, you know, deck, you know, fighting them all out. We have Wind Hulk be a separate entity show up. All insanity happens. Do you want to know how it ends? Yes. Galactus. Somehow a cop contacts Galactus. Galactus, you got to save the Hulk and smash the Rulk. Which is which? The Hulk is green and the Rulk is red. Sorry, <laughs> can't help you. I'm colorblind. Well, we, well, we had to end it somehow, didn't we? Excelsior. <laughs> 
What's a freak, man? <laughs> now, we have another story that goes back to Lyra. As she's dealing with um, fighting a bunch of um, creatures. This is going to continue on later, but um, Boudica, her little computer AI, gets infected at one point. So she has to make through the rest of this fight without him. As she continues fighting them all. Um, and eventually talks them down and everything. And she's ready to fight them all off. And she actually does very well in taking them all down. Even takes what's in his soul and releases it. It's this little um, creature. And that's it for that issue. She looks great in this issue. She does. Oh, did I hear a doggy? Yes, my bo my dog is barking, but I don't know what for. I know she's trying to look for the fly, too. <laughs> but this, we're going to go back to Red Hawk. As we I'll see... be right back. All right. Are you back? Yeah, I thought I could take care of the fly problem, but not really. All right. Well, anyway... So, oh, come on. Oh, it's a uh, Loeb guy. It's, that it's guy. still Loeb. He's the one who did the last one. Oh, the, oh I didn't even see that. <laughs> so, yeah, basically, uh, yeah, Hulk is all like, oh, let me go back. They say when you go to the death of someone you love, there are five stages of relief. I mean, meant grief. Odd that I would make that mistake. Grief, relief. <laughs> I suppose that's the kind of conversation I could have had with Leonard if Samson were the kind of man I could ever trust again. For the longest time, I lived in a nightmare that the monster inside me would come out, that it would never end. Unsinkable, unstoppable, unstoppable, unloved. A monster that I alone created, causing destruction in every aspect of my life. Love, family, everything. Now that I've woken up from that nightmare, why do I still dream about him? Is it that I'm trapped inside? He's, I, I trapped him inside of me for so long that I'm not ready to deal with his death. All I wanted was to be rid of him. Shouldn't be, saying goodbye be the easiest thing in the world? I know in my heart that I have to move on with my life. Except, I don't believe the Hulk is dead. As we, find, we get reminded about that, I don't believe. I don't believe it. I don't believe the Hulk is dead. I heard it from a guy who knows a guy who works at AIM. A guy who knows a guy. What guy and why would he tell you? Now, this is not Carol. This is um, someone else as um, Captain Marvel. This is no. the Dark Avengers Captain Marvel. Or Ms. Marvel. We then see Ares is there like, what did you think of her story? This can't be the first time a claim like that has been made. No, no, it hasn't. I've even read a report that insisted Banner and the Hulk were separated at one point. And that certainly doesn't seem possible. It did happen. But if it were true that the Hulk is good at gone for good, that takes a major player off the field. That sort of information could be very useful. There are ways to confirm it. Why don't I let you handle this, Ares? I cannot promise you that Banner will be alive when I'm done with him. We'll drive off that bridge when we get to it. Who's there? Show yourself! I can hear you breathing, damn it! Hey, you doc! Rick! How, how did you do that? Adapt to the environment. Always the scientist, huh, Bruce? Not really sure. Something else Modoc did to me, or I could always do once I became a bomb. And I just didn't know how. Pretty freaking cool. Guess now we know and what and what happened if an armadillo and a chameleon had a baby, a really fugly baby who's strong <laughs> as all get out. I'm still amazed. Oh wait, so he knows he's a bomb? Yeah, I'm. I'm still amazed that you've taken control of a bomb's personality. You no longer refer to yourself in the third person like I used to. Hulk am strong as there is. Nobody's more surprised than me. Maybe my brain just needed time to catch up or something. Why'd you choose this place to lay low? You used to have me lock and you and you used to have me lock the Hulk inside that vault. I crapped my pants with him pounding on the door to get out. Why did you come here, Rick? We've got some connection and some kind of connection, Bruce. Something I can't explain. Maybe because I've got some of your gamma radiation in me. I just get a feeling when I want to find you, I can. Just like you can with the Red Hulk, right? I didn't ask you how you got here. I asked you why you're here. To go after the Red Hulk for what he did to you. To what end? To avenge the Hulk's death or something? Yes, that burp deserves a serious ass kicking. Rick, I should be thanking him. I've come for you, Banner. What the hell? 
So it basically leads to a bit of a tussle between them and, them and Ares. I want the Hulk. You're insane. The Hulk is gone. Then you are a dead man. Maybe not so much, sucker. <laughs> so yeah, the two are fighting it up until eventually, um, well, he throws a rock at him, then knocks him inside this place that was strong enough to keep the Hulk sealed up. And basically it would do so until Hulk would calm down. You're just going to leave him in there? He's like an Avenger or something. Then he'll either break down the door, which I doubt, or he can let himself out when the timer opens the door in the morning. He's away. We'll be long gone by then. You want to get something to eat? You got to be starved, right? I'm always hungry lately. Whoa, what is that? The yellow? No, I'm hearing noise on your end. Did you run a fan or something? That's my air conditioner turning on. That's what I'm hearing. Your mic is really sensitive. What the heck? Yeah, your mic is really sensitive. Hold That's on. That's like 10 feet away from me. <laughs> okay. I Nobody could detect it before. I've, yeah, I've heard it before. Even you heard it before. Remember one of the older videos? When I said that, you were like, oh, then later on when we stream, when I premiere, you were like, oh my God, there it is. Well, that anyway. was um, the one from outside. This is oh. the one inside my house. Oh, ironic, isn't it? What is? I can't change into a monster and you can't change out of it. I kind of like being part of the strongest there is club now. I think you get mm -hmm. more used to it. And as you get more used to it, it's not all it's cracked up to be. But you have to learn that for yourself. Where are you off to, Bruce? I just figured after all those years that you protected me, I could protect you. Kind of pay you back. And pay back, you know. Like you did with Ares. Bro, why does he look fat? <laughs> because he's wearing the jacket. Oh, that one. No, no. That's his arm. That's his arm. Because he's at an angle, like... Oh, okay, bro. Okay. I was like, you made him wait? Go live your life, Rick. Like I got to live mine. Take care of yourself, Doc. Live mm -hmm. my life. It's been so long, I don't even know who Bruce Banner is anymore. All I know is, I'm not the Hulk. E. Now, this one will be a quick one, because it's a silly story. Like the other one. <laughs> so basically we see Domino. Now by this point we would have X-Force that was treated like a covert op. Black Ops for the X-Men. Oh, I hate the zippers on the on the clothes. <laughs> Little late for a shave and a haircut, isn't it, boys? Is that Leonard Sampson? How's he figured into all this? Uh, I am the Hulk now. A name I swore I'd never have. This power... Unimaginable. So we're finally getting inner monologue from Red Hulk. How could better have denied it? He didn't deserve it. I deserve it. I can see that now. And I won't let anyone take it away. Hi. This country was going to hell. The so-called superheroes went up against superheroes and opened defiance of the United States government. Captain America, a true patriot, was assassinated. Then the Hulk turned New York City into his own personal battlefield. This country was going to hell. And something had to be done about it. So Domino basically sees the figure and realizes it's Red Hulk. I made a deal with people who belong in prison. I put my own life at risk one more time. But without risk, there's no reward. Something had to be done. Wrong place, wrong time. But if there's one thing I've learned through experience, as soon as you think you're invulnerable, you're vulnerable. Who sent you? Nobody. You weren't supposed to be there. I wasn't supposed to be there. Let's just forget this thing ever and this thing ever happened. That's not gonna work for me. You can't unrun me, outrun me. You can't outthink me. And I and it's sure a sure bet you're not gonna outlive me. Seriously, it was dark. I didn't see whatever you think I saw. And I'm not someone who can afford to be vulnerable. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Domino's lucky. Well, that's true. Oh, I love I, I Listen, I know a lot of stuff I should. Who shot Jimmy and JFK? Where's Jimmy Hoffa buried? What's in a hot dog? I can keep a secret. But sooner or later, everyone's luck runs out. And sure enough, now I understand. Banner was ashamed of being the Hulk. It's why he fought it. He used the only thing he had that, all, uh, he had that was worth a damn to try and control the transformation. His brain. So sometimes the Hulk was smart, sometimes dumber than a bag of hammers. But when you look at someone like Jen Walter, she loved being She-Hulk. So everything upstairs turned like clockwork. 
That's how it is with me. I am this Hulk because I want to be. Right. She should be dead. Well, she isn't. If you read her file, you'd realize she has a way of betting the odds. You did, however, succeed in killing two transit transients and compromising its location. Seems simple enough. I'll find this woman and kill her. How are you planning on locating her in a city of 8 billion people? Statistically speaking, next 24 hours are critical. It will get exp exponentially less likely after a every hour after that. So why am I wasting time talking to you? I'll handle this by... No, you don't. Uh, that's not how I want it handled. Here are the, fi the files for the team you will enlist in your search. Sam says right about one thing. You got less than 24 hours. After I paid my debt. Who the hell are you to give me orders? You know exactly who I am, and that finishes this discussion. And when we're all and when all is said and done, what if I said and sa one of them says no? They won't. You're gonna make them an offer they can't refuse. Wait a minute. Uh, what? No, don't worry. This will eventually be explained. Honestly, Remember, I do I'm not gonna, like. I'm, keep, I, I'm keeping this a secret still until we reveal it. I honestly don't like that Samson has his own non-transformable Hulk. Oh, no, he still transforms. He is still bigger and with longer hair. I don't like that he has his own Hulk. Like, that, mm, but yeah, we have I, Deadpool. He's offered a lot of money. Um, $1 million for 24-hour work. Ooh. Then he goes to the Punisher. And during this point, he killed a guy. He says blood on his shirt, so giving him the red motif. I like your style. It basically offers him a place where all the people, different dirtbags and gov in witness protection are exist. We also see he got Sundra, Crimson, and Crimson Dynamo, and Electra. I feel like Deadpool would annoy him the most. <laughs> <laughs> Hiya, Frankie! And shut up or I'll shoot you in the head. And let, just to go over it, we're go looking for a woman called Domino. It's a standard snatch and grab. You find her, hold her until I get there. I want her alive. Sundra, you got us the dynamo. Where's Electra? She'll be here. And stop acting like I don't know how to do my job. <coughs> Come, lad. Boris! Why do you call me this? Hello, Boris and Natasha? No, and no have Bowingo in Moscow? I ask because my name is Boris. <laughs> I don't like working with Ruskies. But we are so alike, you and I. How's that? We are both capitalists who like to kill. So basically, yeah, they have their own red team. Like, Domino, messy, messy or not. I see you brought some friends. I brought friends too. So we have Warbird, X-23, Archangel, Wolver and Wolverine with Domino. Like, who ordered the chicken sa salad sandwich? <laughs> Ooh, uh, those don't even taste good. Right. Cheers, F Force. Kill whoever you want, but Big Red is mine. Of course. I said, then this leads into a big, you know, action as they figure out, like, walk away, little girl. I'd sooner cut your eyes out. You are not understanding. This is personal, not business, and business, not personal. Then you're not getting paid enough for the beating you're going to take down. Just spoke to the cook. We've got one more Esco of pie if you want one. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> We've come for you. You'll leave, and we'll leave with you. Good luck with that. She Let's take nobody. this out, outside, inside or out. You're going down, and Domino is mine. Oh, I love the um. I love the names on the glass. Mm hmm. I love them when they do that too. Now, by this point, Ian Churchill um, had taken some time off because he had hurt his hand. But this is the point where oh. he was making, he was returning back to the game, doing a much more tunier style than what he had done before. Mm. First blood, or whatever it is, it is, you call that yellow goo. I'm only interested in last blood. Jumping around like a rabbit isn't going to save you. Funny, that's what your green self said way back when. Then you'll have to learn the hard way. The Green Hulk is gone, and I'm my own monster. So basically, like, so you're the new guy who said he's the strongest there is. But there ain't much you can do with your head cut off. So real quick, what do you want to do with Dom anyway? She hasn't told you. Do I look like the kind of guy who asks questions he already knows the answers to? If he could, I know Wolverine could kill me. That's where the line gets blurred. 
This man is an Avenger, one of the Earth's mightiest heroes. When the country decided that men like him were worth honoring, that was reason enough for my choice to become what I am. Okay, I understand that then, don't you? That it feels like once Wolverine became considered an Avenger, that's when things were going too far. Yeah, you can see that. Never a bad against me. He slashed him in the eyes, and now he's blind for the rest of the story. Ooh. Doesn't he have healing acceleration? Yeah, yeah he says well? here. He, it's going to take a while still. Ah. As I Wait, said, did, uh, did we ever explain why Bruce can't go into Hulk again? Because he drained all of his gamma energy. Uh, how did he drain that? Was because Red Hulk can absorb energy. It's like when he absorbed oh. the cosmic energy from the Silver Surfer. They're just giving him more powers. Yeah, but like I said, from this point on, he's not... The fact that we see him blinded already showed you that they're saying, they're, they're toning it back a bit. Hopefully. But yeah, we're seeing the rest... You know, The rest of it is just a big fight and everything between X-Force and what's known as Code Red. But eventually... That, on, on. In game, set, match, Sandra. I've held back on purpose. Now you're going to talk to me. I don't want to fight you. Got a funny way of showing it. Get off! Not till you tell me why everyone is after you. You tell me you're one of the everyone. That Hulk and that Hulk. He hired a team to find you. You didn't ask why. What would be the point of asking a question? A question on a no questions asked mission. But he wasn't expecting to come into conflict with your team. X Force wasn't part of the plan. I got the jump on him. So what? I don't believe in coincidences. What if I know if someone knew about us and knew about all of you? What if this was all a setup? So again, just a bunch of fighting between them all uh, individually. Um, what just happened? Where and where were you? This was your problem to deal with. Just tell me what happened. They're gone. Who is? Domino and Electra. They got out before the bar exploded. We'll have to get going then. The sun will soon be up and we'll lose our tactical advantage. What's wrong with you? What are you looking at? Nothing. <laughs> so yeah, they make their way, um, yeah, they're like, round two, Bob! Wolverine! <laughs> to be thought of as a villain. To be like Banner. To become the Hulk in more one, more ways than one. And now then we have Red She-Hulk show up! What? Hold on. You of all people, you of all people, Logan, ought to know it ain't over till the fat lady sings. And I have been trying to keep my girlish figure. Wait, is that Domino? No, wait. No, he's wearing Domino's outfit and wearing one, holding one of um, Electra's thighs. That's meant to throw them off. Oh, those mother frickers. That, that, it, get, it later gets explained what happened in between moments later on in a, mm -hmm. in a, in a backup story. Of course, you need a backup story for the backup story for the backup backup story. <laughs> and don't worry, we're almost done. We've got three more issues left. Two more of this arc. So basically, yeah, Red She-Hulk is there leading to a big fight. And this is now we're basically yeah, introduced to Red She-Hulk and find out just how powerful she is. I'm, I'm For a guy who's a, such a big dog reputation, basically you're a creepy little man with a Napoleon complex. I don't see how anybody would care if we had one more dead mutant on their hands. Shortest career ever. Arrogant jackass! You sound like John Walter after a few shots of Don Julio. That's a bit ironic, wouldn't it? That And that I turn out to be a smarter version of the green She-Hulk? It's ironic because John Walters is dead! And that's it! I'm not waiting until the sun comes up! So yeah, the... Uh, one side, one side, hot stuff coming through. Love the outfit. It's so hard to find some things in plus sizes that looks good on you, big gals and big gals. What? You're probably just big bone. Well, there's one good thing to come out of this meeting. At least the rump roast is out. <laughs> <laughs> red and red and, and bus is leaving now. I'm not going anywhere with you. If your enemy is superior, evade him. If angry, irritate him. If equally matched, and if not split, and, and, and if not split, and reevaluate. Terrified at the sight of the entire car time, I promise I would never smoke again. As I saw you singing. Oh, sorry, you were singing back too. I, I vowed never. And before the end of the, 
Then his father would always tell him smoke, so he's never um, smoked again. Oh, okay. The Red Hulk. The Red Hulk has no intention of making good on your deals. Me, on the other hand, you know Sun Sun Tzu, Bud Fox actually. Sun Tzu. Yeah, Sun Tzu. Bud Fox actually. Who the hell is that? Uh, and that? Who the hell are you? I was sent to get you out. You're blind. You're not not helping by by you dragging me down here in the dark. Look, by all indications, your eyes will heal. But until then, you're a walking liability. Who sent you? Same people who sent you. Do you think I just woke up one day, big, buff, and red? Now, if you don't have any other stupid questions, we need to keep moving. I don't I, I don't like it when I don't get a direct answer. I punched out a watcher, took down Thor. Tell me what I want to know, or I'll tear your head off. I'd like to see you try. Besides, why shouldn't I tell you? You've been running around without anybody knowing your secrets. Like you said, punching out a watcher, decking Thor. For somebody who doesn't want to be known, you've made quite a name for yourself. So... Who is the Red Hulk? That's the $64,000 question. If I were old enough to get the reference, that might mean something to me. What do you want anyway? Why did you become the Red Hulk? Initially, Banner. Oh, that's right. You've got issues with him. You tried to beat him. That didn't work out so well. Tried to kill and kill him. Another disappointment. So you decided to draw the gamma energy out of him. Ticked off a lot of people. Your people. No Mercury and Hulk. That just leaves you. The Red Hulk. The only Hulk. Just like Banner was. That time, that one time the Green Hulk beat me down, I could smell that horrible cigarettes, like the disappointed look on my father's face when I had to learn the lesson. So he explained that whole story about the six blind men and an elephant. You know, the <laughs> whole, they each told things are di very different. Hmm. All right. So what, you're, what are you saying? That no one understands the real you? Had you ever heard that story before? Sure. Someone I love told it to me. He's dead to me now! <laughs> I, I love the artwork here, don't you? Yeah, I love her hair. It's very punk rock. Who are you? Who are you? Really? A friend. More, like, more likely an ally. You know what's coming. What you signed up for. They, they, they can't do it without me. You're either a good liar or a bad liar. I can't tell which. After the night, you're going to need all the friends you can get. This way. Hold up. My vision's coming back. Then we should get and get the higher grounds now. There's someone else down here with us. It's probably just a laugh and a rat. Where did you lead me? You didn't like our like our little walk and talk? Stalling until everyone got back into, into place. You've gotten sloppy, undisciplined, expendable. Package delivered. Who's there? Three guesses, uh, and the first two don't count. This is what they call the double cross. Leonard Sampson was a psychiatrist before exposing himself to gamma radiation. While I was studying everyone's tactics, he was observing my behavior. While I walled in the excess of power, taking on Thor and Silver Surfer, I revealed to him the one area that I could be vulnerable. My secret. Domino seeing and seeing what she saw wasn't a random act. Sampson was there. Sampson set this all up. My mistake, no, nothing is random. The only question left is, how far up does this conspiracy go against me go? And who do I have to kill to put an end to it? So that, this is going to wrap up this arc, and then we'll have one more issue that deals with Samson. Uh, so we see, yeah, we find out. Except, but yeah, what do you think about seeing Hulk, uh, Red Hulk, being so actually taken down a peg a bit more? A lot better. But basically, yeah, they're all being double crossed and everything. Um, what about the rest of you, Deadpool, Punisher, Sundra? Did Samson tell you I couldn't be trusted? That I wouldn't make good <laughs> on our deals? Why? In Red Riding Hood, what big ears you have? And because he's Leonard Sampson, PhD, shrink to the stars, you believe him? That is what he does. He gets inside your head, tells you what you want to uh, hear. Wait just a second, red man. If he's inside my head, I want first, last, and a security deposit. No late, uh, no late night parties, and no pets allowed. I run a respectable head. Deadpool, now would be a good time to either stop talking or stop breathing. They don't trust you. Why should they? You brought this on yourself. You bragged, you bullied, let's face it, nobody likes you. We work with the same people. If I screwed you, Samson screwed you worse. Because you, 
betrayed me for nothing! My guess is you don't play chess, because if you did, you know that was a terrible opening. Deadpool's million dollars is already in a Swiss bank account. The Punisher has the names of every man, woman, and child in the witness protection program on an encrypted file. After you're dead, they'll each get a password. And what about Sundra? We're just getting to that. You know what, Leonard? I do play chess. You ever heard of black rank checkmate, right? Where the queen moves along with the ace rank, and the king is blocked in by his own pawns? Leonard is God. I'll say he is. Sundra, now! Checkmate! Like, I could kill you both. You know that's a fact. I'm not asking you to take a side. I'm asking you not to pick one. Well, you can pick your friends who can pick your nose, but you can't pick your friend's nose. And the problem with being blind, Red, you'll never see me coming. Yeah, about that. I got my vision back! So yeah, they start fi uh, fighting it all out. Turns out then the um, side got busted. Um, Red Shield <laughs> runs off after them. Everyone calm down. I'm not here. To, I'm not going to be here very long. Monster, the monster's going to eat us. Don't kill us. Us, pe every day people, children, this is how they see me. The fear, how we all saw Banner. Come here, you. You were given a mission, a chance to change this country from everything that's wrong with it. You diverted from the plan. Just like your entire life, you let your emotion cloud your judgment. And for what? To get back at Banner? How do, I, how do you know about any of that? Who the hell are you? What's the matter? Did I get under your sick red skin the way nobody else has? That's, you're going to answer my questions or you're going to die for it. Do you think the people you work for even care? If that's your way to get me to question my loyalty, you really don't know anything about me. Oh, jeez. So, yeah. All right, hold on. Listen to me very carefully. Maybe Samson filled in a few blanks so you knew what you saw. But there, um, but there are a, only a handful of people who know what's to come. I want to know who you are and why they created you. I jumped down from the moon and survived. Can you take that chance? Do it then. Go on. Your choice. Your fate. Okay, do you expect me to be grateful? I don't expect anything from anyone. And I certainly don't expect you to understand. If only you knew. Only do what? What a sucker you are! <laughs> Who, what, where, what? It's okay. When I find out who disturbed the ever-loving blue-eyed thing's beauty sleep, there's going to be all kinds of hack to pay. I wasn't sure you'd survive that fall. Well, now you know that, you know, well, now you know that Red she said you were dead, Electra. Well, now you know. How'd you lose your sigh? Same way Donna mm. lost her gun. Things got messy with your friend. She's not my friend. Never seen her before tonight. Interesting. Was that Domino's clothes she was barely fit into? Like I said, things got messy. Why, why would she do that? Do you want to play 20 questions, or do you want to find Domino? This is Silver Sable. Let's, and she gets to and to live like this because she sells herself her services. I know who she is, Domino. Then and tell the man what you told me, Sable. Three nights ago, a guy with green hair asked if I knew Domino. I said we'd done a few missions together. It's not like we're friends, but I'm a merc. She'd be a, been a merc. For $100,000, all I had to do was deliver a message. There was something going on down at Sam's Barbershop last night. That used to be a shield front, and now it was a front for aim. That was it. I've got trust issues, as in, I don't trust anyone. But once upon a time, I had a husband. You did? He's the one who called me Domino. He got involved with Dan aim. Then he got dead. Whatever trust issues you had with Sable, you had bigger trust and issues with aim. You went not expecting me to be there. It really was wrong place, wrong time. That's what I've been telling you. And at this point, I'm not sure what I saw. I don't buy that. But I know enough about human nature that if I killed you, you've had enough time to make sure that what you and what you know, what I know, you know. Public. I might have. You could have told Wolverine, for example. She could have. Okay, the way my world works is everybody wants something. It's not always a good thing either. Whatever you're selling, we ain't interested. Domino holds all the cards. Don't kid yourself. Our country's looking for an excuse to wipe out all of you mutants. I've already seen the plans. If word gets out that a mutant wetworks operation called X-Force is running around killing people, led by a member of the X-Men, this Avenger here, you'd be all the excuse they need. Now, we both have something the other doesn't want. No. We done? Almost. First, send everybody packing. Everybody? Explain to where they all are. Now, we done? Not quite. I keep Silver Sable. Works for me. Wait. What? Like, 
look, I'll give you anything you want. You want the guy who hired me? I already know who hired you. I what and what I want is the hundred grand he paid you. Hey, I earned that money. Don't be stupid. The healer isn't here anymore. Now and go get me the cash. The team you put the, and the team you put together. I didn't put it together. I was given a list. I've been trying to find the common denominator other than the color red, which isn't a reason. But they all do, they do all travel in different circles. Deadpool likes to talk. The Punisher knows the value of a solid piece of intel. The Dynamo would trade anything for anything. And with that crew, if Domino told and, and told, if your seer guide out, it spread like wildfire. So yeah, basically, then they talk it out a bit more and saying like you're uh, you're and need allies and everything. If you if you want to trust me, do right by the rest of them. So he gives them a little bit of the information, not what they were promised, but exactly promised, but only the little bits. Mm -hmm. And now he's ready to turn against all of them. Bruh. And then this is the last one, as we get a bit more with um, um, Leonard Samson. with Samson. And this is artwork by Walt Willis Bortasio. I had that dream again last night. That makes it three or four nights now. Doesn't matter. I think it's only relevant because of the repetitive nature of the dream. Was this a red dream or a green one? Both. Both. I was witty, and I was taking him down. Of course, as you said, it was a dream. Then just like the other times, I'm stopped. I can't break free. If everyone would just listen to me and do what I tell them to, I'm smarter, faster, stronger than the Hulks combined. You've always said that. Even when there was only one hall, you've had it all. Brains, look, powers, everything you've ever dreamed of. Why did you see yourself as a failure? Are we done? You know how this works. You're free to leave anytime you like. Hardly. A psychiatric evaluation, given what's at stake like at this point, doesn't seem unreasonable, does it? You practically wrote the book on stress and superpowers. Your X-Factor section. Your accomplishments with Banner. It's not every day a shrink gets to, gets to shrink the shrink, so to speak. Do not presume you to consider yourself my intellectual equal. I wasn't. I had it, Leonard. Samson. Leonard's not coming back. Right. I want to talk to you about your father. A little amateur, don't you think? Amateurish, don't you think? Daddy issues. Is that what you have? Basically, his father was the type of guy who would be a psychiatrist, a head shrinker, but he was doing it for the woman. Of course. Wow. Um, so of course he didn't want to be anything like him. Um, but on uh, a slender balance, how we see ourselves by Leo Skivorsky, PhD. I always forgot you had, you both had the name Leonard. Successful practice, Blubbish Archer. He cast a pretty big shadow. Only as far as the Tulsa city limits, probably why you left for New York. He was handsome too, wasn't he? All that here was, and that, what was that nickname your mom gave him? Samson. So, yeah, can we move off this topic? Absolutely. Besides, your father didn't have the dreams you had. He'd never been to New York City, seen the mighty Thor and Captain America. You must have been frustrated. Men, and uh, uh, what? Men like Reed Richards, Henry Pym, and Tony Stark. Brilliant men who reinvented themselves as heroes. Uh, 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 here you were Doc Samson, and yet you weren't. I wasn't what? Is that why you started, started to study Banner? He wasn't as fortunate as the others. He didn't get to be a hero. He got to be the monster, and he didn't get the girl. Betty Ross. Let's talk about your De and Delilah. She would have been and died if I hadn't been there. I saved her life. Got to save your own as well. As we're then seeing a big example of what led to, um, you know, was this all this experimentation until he eventually gained his abilities. And um, I wonder how I look. If my colleagues in the American Psychiatric Association could only see me now, pretty pleased with yourself, wouldn't you be? Anything other than yes would mean you're a liar. Is, that a, is there a hint of narcissism there? Is there a hint of envy there? Touche. Smarter than Banner? More loyal than Ross? Physically superior to Talbot? Not so hard to understand it after all, is it? Did you really get, get, and get your, what does someone call that? A uniform fighting togs anyway in a costume shop? Why is that even worth mentioning? I don't know. I'm only a psychiatrist. But given how important your self-image had become, I mean, did you ever take a hard look at what you were wearing? <laughs> you should have seen how Betty saw me. Basically, there was a point where they actually dated for a bit. What? 
I, you know, like you took Banner's girlfriend. In a lot of ways, you took Banner's life. Wait, I crossed the line. We only have a few more minutes, and I don't have very much more. When you go toe to toe with Hulk, what's it like? Ooh, sex. I'm sorry, I thought you said sex. I did. Do you want me to amend that as a Freudian sleep? I think it was pretty clear. Nothing dynamically repressed there. No homoerotic implications. None. Then, I get off on it. <laughs> Following that line of thought, given the number of times the Hulk defeated you, did that make you feel impotent? How do you feel? Uh, how do you feel right now? I, uh, please, I made a mistake. It's like you said, I'm not your intellectual equal. Your intellect, that's what I want to talk about. Isn't that wh where you've really triumphed? Your work was Banner. The merging of his pers multiple personalities. You should have won the Nobel Prize. Yes, I should have. That research led to other work as well. The X Factor paper. It still stands hands and shoulders above anyone else in the field. Still, you got to study X Factor, but nobody asked you to be on the team. All those versions of the Avengers, New Mighty, Great Lakes, West Coast, Champions, Defenders, New Warriors, and nobody asked you. I think we're done. Nobody wants to be a therapist friend. Believe me, I know. Nobody says they're having dinner with a psychiatrist. They'll have a dinner with a lawyer before they'll break bread with one of us. With, with all you have to offer, I now I know we're done. I understand. Thank you for your time. It's truly been an amazing experience. One thing I just want to go and to go back to. When you were in New York and developed the Cathy X-ray, how exactly did that work? We went over that already. I was studying Banner and I had a theory about drawing off his energy. No, I get that. It's... You showed up a lot of top-secret military installations with the kind of equipment that would have taken years to test, let alone build. You already had clearance. What was it you said? Designed by, for me by some of the nation's top technicians? Who helped you back then? Gamma energy? Transference? You had pretty advanced ideas for a psychiatrist from Tulsa, Oklahoma. What was the deal? You took care of the Hulk and they let you become a superhero? Is that why you went back to work for them now? The plan was good, but the world went bad? It was General Ross, right, who approached you? They were making a new Hulk, a Red Hulk, more powerful, smarter, draining the energy of Banner and redirecting it. What happened to Leonard Sampson? Why and why wasn't being Doc Sampson enough? Was it because you never really got the girl you wanted or the fame you wanted or the recognition you wanted? You woke up one day and you weren't the hero of the story. You look in the mirror like those women who were your father's patients with their distorted self-image. You never saw what you had, that being Doc Samson wasn't a burden. It was a privilege. You are the utmost authority of superhero psychi psychiatry. You are finally bigger than your father, and you still see yourself as a failure. Because you never got Betty. You couldn't beat Banner. You couldn't be the Hulk. Enough! You, you don't want to do this. Actually, I do, Leonard. Let go of him, Samson. You made your point. You're stronger, faster, smarter than both of us. Please, God, no. Yes. <laughs> Ick, you've helped me out. You've helped me out today, Leonard. I realize now that being so dependent on my intellect has been hold, always actually holding me back. It's the only explanation how the Hulk could defeat me. Killing you is the smartest thing I've ever done. He's ready. So, what'd you think? Wow, I still hate it. <laughs> but it does give some explanation, though. For one. He, it's revealing he worked with them beforehand. And so he went back to them because of his ego wouldn't allow it. I don't want Samson to have an ego. Yeah, well, he does get some redemption near the end. But um, what do you think about the Code Red arc? Um... It was a little bit hard for me to understand. <laughs> <laughs> it was basically the whole point is Samson and the others, like Modoc and the other, are backstabbing um, Red Hawk because of what he did to Banner. I'm surprised they even like Banner. No, because no, they needed Banner for what their plan was. Now they have to refigure out a new way of doing it, all because uh, Red Hawk decided to take it upon himself. Okay, I get it. Yeah, yeah. So they're backstabbing him now for it. They're double crossing him for it. Makes sense. What did you think about Red She-Hulk? Ooh, she was she was great. <laughs> um, and what did you think about issue six hundred and the thirteenth issue with um, Bruce and, and Rick and yeah, Bruce and Rick? 
Oh, that was so sweet. That was so sad. Yep. But wait until next time when we go over um, Father, Banner, and Son as we see Bruce interacting with Scar. Yes. But, and then after that, we will finally be starting into Fall of the Hulk and then World War Hulks. Nice. Now, I guess, what would you say was your favorite artwork? Willis Portacio, Ed McGinnis, or Ian Churchill? Probably Ian Churchill, to be honest. Nice, nice middle ground between the three artists? Yeah. Agreed. So, yeah. Uh, not much else we can say. We'll see you all in the next one. Bye. Take care.